Hey, romantic. Whether you're in search of relaxation, adventure, or good shopping destination, Texas has it all, and I want to go do each one of those things. They're all just a drive away. Yeah, just jump in the car yeah. and go. Budget travel expert and author Deidre Mathis is back with us once again to share some of these Texas treasures. Deidre, welcome back to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. We're going to ask about Israel. <laughs> yeah. Israel was amazing. So it's more than just the holy land. There's the awesome nightlife. The food is amazing. There's so many different types of museums there. So, I mean, it was just the most fabulous trip I've, I've taken in a while. It was so fun following along with you on social media. I'm like, girl, where are you today? What's going on? Yes. Um, but what about the market scene? Was that pretty cool too? The market scene was amazing. And I've been uh, to a, a, quite a few markets, but the ones in Israel were just absolutely amazing. Full of jewelry, handmade goods, foods. I mean, everything you needed in one place. Such an amazing experience. Yeah. Deidre, if people don't remember from last time you were on the show, you had a full-time job that you quit. You decided to travel. So you've been around yes. and that's where your expertise comes yes. from. Let's start with our first Texas destination, Fayetteville. Fayetteville. So if you're into music, you need to head over to the Fayetteville Music Conference, which is in May. So there are artists coming from all over the world playing classical music, Mozart covers, Beethoven covers. So if you're into classical music, you definitely want to head over for that. It's kind of something you wouldn't expect there, isn't it? You wouldn't expect it. And, and that's the beauty of it. Um, you have to really, you know, be in love with the music. So you're going to be surrounded around people who are just in love with classical music as you. So you're going to be familiar with the music, meet new friends. It's just going to be a fabulous. And this attracts well. musicians from all over the world. All over the world, as far as Poland. So I mean, this is pretty big. People are coming f just for this music conference. So this is a great way to, you know, explore your passion for music, meet other people, and just have fun. Okay, so let's talk shopping. You know, yes. I think a lot of folks think immediately round top. Yeah. You know, oh, for some yes. great kind of bargain antiquing shopping. Yes. You got a good alternative. Yeah, so head over for the first Trade Mondays. You're going to have an amazing time. Everything from antique furniture, jewelry, you know, if you are able to travel there and spend the first Monday there, you're going to have an awesome experience. And this right. is Canton. Over in Canton. Canton, Canton yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> Canton, Texas. So just about three hours away, so not far at all. So definitely doable for a weekend road trip from Houston. Is there a time, like a better time of year to go? Because obviously we just mentioned Round Top, we yes. love it, but it is packed. It's packed. So is Canton sort of happening oh, all look year how round? Cool that yes. is. So I would say now is the, uh, is the best time. February and March and April are the best times to go. So there's not going to be tons of crowds there, but there's still going to be enough vendors out there so that. Whatever you're looking for, you'll have a high chance so of finding it. So you find a little bit of everything, a from the antiques to handmade right, stuff. Right, right. Jewelry, oh, cool. furniture, anything you're looking for, you're going to definitely find it okay. there. Another road trip that is also just about three hours away is Rockport. Oh, uh, this is Rockport. one of my favorites. Yes, absolutely. So we've all heard of South Project Island, and it's beautiful there. But head over th th just three hours away to Rockport. So if you're into seafood, delicious seafood there, great, beautiful beaches. If you're into bird watching, I mean, it's a little bit, you know, to do for everyone. So whether you want to rest and relax or you want to eat a great lunch, you're going to have an amazing time in That's Rockport. That's gorgeous. Yeah, yes. Shell is one of my beautiful. favorite places over in Rockport. So yes, good. yes, yes. So tell me about Spicewood. This is a little bit of an adventure. adventure. So if you're like me and you love adventure, you're definitely going to head over to Spicewood. So zip lining. Yes. There's awesome tree houses you can spend the night in. What? Yes. Yeah, so if you're into nature, you're going to absolutely love this place. I mean, just something for everyone. They have waterfalls if you want to sit and just soak in the water and just yeah, relax. There's a waterfall bathhouse? Yes, there's what a is waterfall that? bathhouse. So it's where you zip line and you actually land in a pool of water. So, I mean, you can Excuse sit there. Excuse yes, me? You zip, line zip line in the, yes. the treehouse. <laughs> that is so yes, cool. Yes, it's so beautiful. And if you just want to be immersed in nature, grab a good book, sit out there. You know, you're going to have a great time. Oh, my gosh. That yes. looks awesome. And how do <laughs> These you... are not your regular treehouses just in the no. backyard. These are the tree. What is it? The treehouse master? Those look like his kind of creations. Oh, yes. They're, they're really decked out and beautiful. So inside, nice bed. Nice how do you kitchens. book something like in Spicewood? How would you book those little cabins, the tree houses we just saw? So you can go direct through the companies or you can go to hotels.com and just put in the destination for... and just look for the best deal. Absolutely. That's so great. I looked uh, for a, a trip that I'm going to be taking fairly soon and they had tree houses as low as about $149 per night. Oh, nice. And that's really great. I mean, that's what a hotel is cost. So to be able to stay in a tree house. Way cooler than a hotel. Way cooler. Oh, right. Speaking of hotels, you're getting ready to open a hostel here in Houston coming yes. up soon. Tell yes. me about it. So one Wonderless Houston. So all of my travels throughout the world, I've utilized hostels. Yep. And when I moved to Houston about two years ago, I said, you know what? There's a market for hostels yeah. here. When people think of hostels, they think of international. But no, there's 
about 400 households here in the States, and Houston you know, has over 6 million visitors every year. So I'm creating a space where both domestic and international travelers can come, meet other people, not spend off their money on accommodations, and just have a great time. Deidre, when you open this hostel, we better <laughs> be first stay. in line. For yes, I'm going to have a soft opening, and you guys are going to be the first awesome. invited. Yes. Great. So for more info on Deidre and the hostel she has just been talking about, you can visit wanderlusthouston.com. And thank you again, Deidre. Have fun yeah. in Kenya. Thank you. I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs>